you are managing a large scale software development project that was initially planned using a predictive waterfall methodology. As the project progresses, it becomes evident that the requirements are more dynamic than initially anticipated. With frequent changes and adjustments needed, the current waterfall approach is, is proving to be inflexible and causing delay and increased cost. Considering these challenges, how would you proceed? Yeah, how should you proceed with the project lifecycle approach? So a typical situation which is pointing out that your selected development or project lifecycle approach is not coming to be suitable for you. So the question is asking, can you do such kind of life cycle change mid project or how should you deal with this particular situation or you improve your current processes only? So let's see what all options we have about this particular situation. Option A, continue with predictive life cycle uh, approach, predictive methodology as changing the approach mid project could lead to more confusion and disruption. So the question is clearly indicating that there is a problem at hand and avoiding the problem and continuing with our current approaches is not a proactive project manager should do. We are always here to challenge the status quo. We are always thinking of improving so that we can produce valuable deliverable for our stakeholder. Continuously taking corrective and preventive action is the role of project manager. So option A saying continue as things are working is not a good idea. I need to do something about it. Yeah. Yes, it could be a disruption. It could be a little bit realignment of the stakeholder, but I will do it because it will save me other problems. Yeah. So option A, I put it outside. Option B, switch to an agile methodology immediately to better accommodate the changing requirement and enhance flexibility. Now, as we learned, this is directly saying act on it. Now, uh, uh, first thing is that since we have something in place, some artifacts in place, maybe pure agile may not work out. Yeah, And directly saying that this thing is not working, let's go for agile is not a good idea. As we learned, we do analysis, we look at project parameter, we work with the stakeholders and after facilitating conversation, we should be making the decision. So this option is directly making me act. So I get little suspicious. Let's see if I can get a better option here. Option C, conduct a thorough analysis to assess the feasibility and implication of transitioning to a more agile approach at this stage of the project. This is a great option. Two reasons. First, it is giving me an option to analyze, yeah, looking at various factors. Second, it is saying more agile approach, which is means it is pointing out a probably hybrid approach. We are not saying that we will go directly to adaptive life cycle. So with these two key indicator, option C works best in this particular situation. Let's see option D as well. Split the project into smaller parts, apply a predictive approach to a stable part and agile to a part with dynamic requirement. Possible, but that if needed, it will be incorporated in option C. So option B, we want to go to agile is also can be a, a consequence of our analysis after option C, we may go for agile. Option, option C, we may go for hybrid approach. Option, after option C, we may continue with a, a predictive life cycle approach also, A also. So I would say A, B and D all are possibilities, but only after I analyze the situation in little bit more detail. And that's what the option C is pointing out to that we need to have some adaptability and let's figure it out together how can we achieve that after doing proper analysis of it. This particular question is focusing on the task 13 in a process domain, determine appropriate project methodology, method and practice. And we are focusing on project life cycle selection. Some of you may be working with the understanding that project life cycle we select only in the beginning and we can't change it. That is not a right thing to assume. We are always here to change anything which help us in delivering project value. Yes, changing the life cycle approach is relatively a big change. We won't do it casually, but if we have a reasons and we have a stakeholder alignment with it, why not to 
change to a better or more agile approach to facilitate our value delivery.